Hello, hey, everybody. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Guess what? It's going to be a good one. Buckle up. Hang on. We're catching largemouth bass. Yeah, yeah, I know. We always catch largemouth bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. We are right back out at the same spot we had so great of luck yesterday. We're right back again this morning. Look at the little birds. They're wishing us luck. It's going to be an awesome morning. We aren't going fishing. We're going catching. And myth busting. Yeah. And stay tuned. I got some uh, secrets in store for you on myths and just things you've heard that are not true. Buckle up and hang on. Let's do it. Way out here, but this is probably where they're, they can get out here and zoom around. Like the oh, there was one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you hear that? Oh boy, right on the outskirts. Buckle up and hang on, boys and girls. I just had a good hit. You got one? Buzz bait or just switch? Yep, buzz bait. Bonsai guy's on the board. First one. I think, did I catch one? I caught the first one yesterday, didn't I? There we go. Boy's a whopper. Mm. He's a big, he's a monster. But you know what? He is a bass. We are not skunked. I don't know if we've been, I don't think we've been out here five minutes maybe. Right here, I missed a big one. So, or a bigger, big, bigger than that one. Get him! Sick him! Thank you. Got him. Oh my gosh! Oh yeah! A crappie? Hey. We're not fishing for crappie. Hey, we're in crappie bass lane. With the zinkers? Surely that crappie ain't what hit my buzz bait. But I'm on the board too. Mmm, <laughs> crappie fishing 101. Just go bass fishing. You'll catch him. To my buddy Grady and Corey, they act like this crappie fishing is tough. I can accidentally catch crappie all day long. Yeah, I accidentally caught one yesterday. All right, bonsai guy's got a big one. I just had stopped. I was running in my mouth talking about Grady and uh, Corey being crappie fishermen. Coming right at us. He's gonna get the sky. He's gonna get the sky. I'd probably say it's a quarter pounder for chunk and cheese. About two. Are you gonna get that fish in? Yeah. That's about two and a half. Oh, he's barely. No, oh, he's so good. Get him! Get him! There we go. Okay, nice bass. Right back on it today again. All right. Did I catch him yesterday. Look at that. No. Possibility. They'll hit the next day. Hell, they'll hit the same day. Sometimes. I told you they were out here in the south skirts. I know. Nice. We were. Yesterday we started out, I think, fishing in too close to the bank. They're out here. A little. Well, it's, it's not really out that far because it's only like two foot deep. Yeah, I don't have as long as arms as you do, so. Yeah, they don't look as big. <laughs> Let me get rid of that buzz bait for a minute and go with. Dang, I hooked myself when I took the hook out. It went, kind of went almost in the side of my finger. Yeah, I've done that. I don't know how many times this month, really. Ouch. Well, since bonsai guy caught a very big one on chartreuse and white guess what i'm using <laughs> we've actually got a good morning going because there's plenty of cloud cover there's a lot of grass in there somebody overslept and we didn't get a good start but sorry it was me but nobody's pointing fingers this one's actually a better bait because it doesn't have the thing up front and it's easier to keep clear of that grass when it's in that gunk too there should be another one right in here somewhere. <laughs> Go ahead, I ain't stopping you. <laughs> you threw that out, it went right on my hook. <laughs> there is no avoiding that crap. I know, right? Oh! There's no avoiding, that nice. is a monster, dude. Is a monster. There is no avoiding the big bass today. <laughs> oh, that is a giant. Right off the bat, my first bass is a killer. Bass Assassin's Club, I don't need you. Oh! That one. My friends, oh, he's in the trolling motor. Oh boy, he may get off. Oh, he's in, oh my gosh. He's a monster. That's huge. That is biggest I think we've caught. That's a four pound. 
14. Get out of here. <laughs> here, I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, he got smaller. <laughs> but he's still a giant. I thought he was way bigger. <laughs> he got smaller. <laughs> he got smaller when he came out of the water. <laughs> I say it's four pounds, 14. Okay. Got the. Good, thank you. Chartreuse and white, baby. Yeah, I'm telling you, we're going to have a good day, I think. <laughs> what is that, another five? It looks five, 514 to me. <laughs> Let's take a second just to appreciate this bass and get a weight. Hang on. If you watched the other video from yesterday, some of the sound got jacked up. It was raining. We were in some nasty conditions to start the morning off. Today is an awesome day. Hold on. Yeah. All right. Let's zero that out. And weigh her up. What is it, five and a half? Five four. You know me, I round up. That could be a five and a half. <laughs> Thanks for letting me hold that. Yes, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> it's going to bring you luck. Mwah. She is a kisser, boys and girls. Let's see if she'll jump. All right, let's see if old girl's going to jump. Probably jump. And knock all of my uh, chatterbaits in the water. Jump. Come on, girl. Jump. Upside down. You're going to jump. Look at you. Jump. Look at you. Jump. No. Wow. She's like, Did you guys see the power in that fish? Powerful. We ain't bass. made it, but like 20 yards. Already made the trip worthwhile. All right, boys and girls. All Let's tied go. up. You cast tied up my butt. <laughs> two two. <laughs> I'm going for weight now. Okay, come on, seven pounder. There we go. You got one. There we go. I don't know if the camera may have picked up the edge of that. There we go. Got another one. Let me look at that buzz bait. Boy, these little ones. I'll tell you what. They got some spunk in them. Yeah. see that look at that I want to see your buzz bait real quick I just want to see if it's got the all right let me show you guys something here now see his doesn't have that but it does have this crazy double bladed thing going on but traditionally and it may have enough joints that it does do any squeaking as you can see it don't make a huge difference but I was always told crimp that and that little connection right there where they that squeak you guys hear that? You want that in the old school buzz baits, but then when you get these new ones and they got the double blade spinning the wrong ways and all that, don't really know if it makes a big difference. Ooh, that spot, I didn't even realize. That, that hit. I got a fish. I was stopping thinking and looking like I need to run a frog. See all that gunky stuff back in there? Yeah. I'm thinking a frog back in there would be juicy. Look at this bass. You, my friend, are let down compared to my last one. Sorry. Mwah. But they're still hitting top water. It is 7.30 in the morning. Let's do this. They don't like backup baits. Once they hit and miss, they're done. Either. She got death wrapped up in her tail. Game over for her. Game over. All right, I'm going back with what I caught my big one on. Buzz bait, buzz bait. Now I'm gonna throw it in the same spot I just threw a whopper plopper. And look at that! Damn. Same exact spot. I'm gonna leave that for the gym. Oh, that is about a three, I think. Just by the velocity of that jump. Whoa! He got bigger. Now that's about three, I'm guessing. Try, I tried. You guys won't see most of the footage, but we tried some frogs. I threw the big buzz or uh, the, 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 the whopper plopper, and nothing. Not even a bumps on it. I just put this on. That was the first cast, wasn't it, with it? Yep. Since so trying other baits, and bam. So I'm sticking with this until that sun pops all the way up.
Do you want to weigh this one? Let's just see if we, I need a pick. All right, we got a pick, we're gonna weigh it. Yeah, that is, I call it two and a half, two eight. Got it? Yep. What do you got? Two eight, bam, <laughs> what'd I say? Two and a half pounds. Yeah. I thought it was three at first. The very first initial thought was three, but then once I looked at it, let's see if it's gonna jump. We need a jumper for the show. Come on. How hard is it to just jump out of the water? You did it a second ago. No, they are not jumpers in here. All right, well, let's go. I know it. I can feel it. I can smell it. Right here's where our uh, main action came from, right? Oh, right there. Oh, ooh, ooh. I'll come right back. I'm gonna help you catch this fish. <laughs> they never hit again. It's like they whack at it. They didn't even feel it. And then they won't hit it again. Get me in there. It's like, what made you hit it the first time? That was about a too easy. Easy. Did you have a fish? I did. Y'all just throw that one you had. <laughs> oh, that just, look at that. That is a blanket of death. Look at that. That weighs more than any bass I've caught. That little death sheet. I hate to even reach down and touch it. Jeez. Well, I was preoccupied. You got one? Yep. Bones, that guy says he has one. I haven't seen it yet. Yep, he's got one. He's got a two pound bass with 10 pounds of death attached. Let's see him, if he can get her in. While he's doing that though. Woo! <laughs> that is a monster. That is a all out. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, I'll tell you what, these little ones got some funk. <laughs> yes, I do. Straighten that out for me. Guggen bait. I think this is going to stay. <gasps> there it goes. We just talked about it. What not to do while you're out bass fishing. Here, grab that bottom. There's most of it. Look at that. I just lost. Forward, my forward. <laughs> whole top water box. You're about to lose it, dude. You're about to lose all your stuff. Oh my God, boys and girls. This is why we can't have anything nice. <laughs> Look at all those baits. They're not even getting hit. This spot, this is how you check and see if they're hitting top water on any given spot. Throw all of your baits in the water. Ah, I just hooked myself. Got one little Oh my God, that is a very expensive $4 bait too from AliExpress. <laughs> Gotta get it, it's $4. Look at that, it, oh, whoa. He got this nice little uh, gold colored Jesus. Right here. Look at that. Yeah, that thing sucks. Put hooks on it, try it if you want. All right, let's get okay. the fish. Now that we're done with all that chaos, let's catch a big bass. I just seen a big boil. You right through the middle of it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the cows know something's up. <laughs> you hear them like, oh, Charlie's in town. The bass and the bonsai gonna catch a big bass. We're gonna hear him screaming like a girl. Uh oh, see that? One gave himself away. That may not even be a giant one, but he hit harder than anything I've had hit. Oh, it is a giant. It is a giant. It is a giant. The cows were right. <laughs> oh my God. Woo. Look at that. Yeah. The cows knew something was gonna happen. 
they were mooing just a second ago it is spinning the boat around i don't know if you guys can make that out whoa he's a if they try to go under your boat especially this boat oh i got him like hooked weird keep that rod out and down because the bottom of boats are usually very sharp don't let them drag your line across your boat oh, whoa 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 get over here get over here you five pounder open your mouth get in this boat <laughs> Woo, i had him like hooked oh my goodness another very nice bass Woo. okay i will catch my breath that was a massive explosion that's a nice bass seven pounds yeah i wish that's another five and a half i'm gonna call it five nine but anyway that is a nice bass wherever you go we're gonna get a weight on it we're gonna get a pick and then we're gonna keep fishing because that's what we do <laughs> we we turn them loose and if you don't believe in catch and release trust me how many have we caught out of here this big and we turn them all loose and guess how many fish are in here that are this big we know for sure as many as we turn loose i caught my personal best now that fish yep. what'd you say five nine what no wait again all right we're gonna try this one one more time Four fourteen. 14. Oh my God! That's not even five pounds. It's five I'm gonna call it five. Throw that footage away. All right, guys. Almost as close as you can get to a five-pound bass. It looks like a six-pounder. We're gonna see if it's gonna jump. Jump. Nope. Just swam off. Blew all its energy hitting that bait the first shot. All right, guys, let's go. Here, let me pick one out for you. The one that you caught the bass on. <laughs> Get it back out. It works. Let's go.